we are going to learn one of the key assumptions in linear regression modeling. We had earlier explained that for any linear regression equation to be properly estimated, some basic assumptions have to be considered. So in this case, we are looking at autocorrelation assumption. If we consider our two variable linear equation, which has one independent variable and one dependent variable, we have explained that in estimating the effect of our independent variable on the dependent variable y, we cannot be exact in saying that the variation in y is only influenced by x because there are some unobserved factors that are also likely to influence our dependent variable but which are not explicitly captured in our model. So this is where we capture all those factors as the error term. Now the autocorrelation assumption requires that there shouldn't be any correlation between the error terms. Where correlation is noticed between the error terms, the assumption of autocorrelation is violated. In other words, the covariance between our error term given any values of the independent variable should be equal to zero. So technically, this is the assumption of serial correlation. So if you consider the plot of our error terms on a graph, you should not observe any pattern in the relationship between our error terms. In graph A, as we can see, as one error term increases, the other error term increases. And this is a clear positive relationship between the error terms. And this is undesirable in linear regression equation. In graph B, we also see that whereas one error term increases, the other error term decreases. And this is a clear negative correlation and is also undesirable in linear regression equation. In graph C, there, there is no negative or positive correlation. And as you can see, the correlation here is zero, which is a desired expectation in a linear regression model. So for us to have a proper estimation of our linear regression, you don't have to observe any pattern between the error terms when plotted on a graph.